I think where I want to land this plane today. is to challenge you to engage your faith to begin to, to believe and say not that revival is coming but to begin to say revival is here. Yeah. Signs and wonders are here. Deliverance is here. He needs, Holy Spirit needs a cooperation and agreement with us, from us. He doesn't need our permission. He works through us, however. He works through our faith. He works through our acts of obedience. And he's about to he wants to begin to do things that will, I think, take people, leaders, probably all of us by surprise. He's coming to do things we, through us that we don't even know how to do. I know leaders, I know one leader extremely well, knew him very well in the 70s. I was a kid, probably high school. When God started using this man in signs and wonders, dramatic miracles, incredible miracles, words of knowledge that were profound. I knew him well because he was my dad. I watched him for years. He'd been, he was a preacher, evangelist, and a pastor. I knew him. I knew everything, he, every sermon he ever preached, you know. I, I, I knew him well. I remember the Sunday night when God started using him in the word of knowledge and miracles. Now listen to me. He had no idea it was coming. He did not know how to do it. He could not explain to me after the service how it was happening. I remember watching him get up to speak. I was sitting in the back of the church. He stopped as he was about to move into his message. He looked distracted, puzzled. He started looking around the room like he was in a daze. Everyone, all of us, wondering, what is, what is he doing? What's wrong with him? And then he started speaking. You. And he starts telling them things that had happened to them. Accidents they'd been in. And it did this to the fifth vertebrae. And the doctor said this. And the doctor's name was this. And he said this about you. But God says he's healing you now. I'm watching this thinking, who is this man? What is, how's he doing this? What is this? He says, you over here. And he starts prophesying to them, to reading their mail. Some of them, he called their name, didn't know them. He gave the year that things happened to them. This went on for an hour and a half. We all sat speechless watching this. I said to him later, walking across the parking lot over toward the parsonage, I said, Dad, what is this? What was that? He said, words of knowledge and gifts of healing. 
I said, how'd you do that? He said, I don't know. I can't explain it. I just look at somebody and I knew things about them. It's like, I don't have to think about details. I just know her. When I look at her, I know these facts. He said, that's what it was. It's like I knew him. I look at him and I think, he said, and I, I knew this. this is like, it's like I had known him all their life. And I said, well, how did it happen? What started this? He said, well, I don't know. I've just been hungry for more of God. And I've been praying in tongues a lot. And that's the only explanation I have. And the only way I know to describe it is God just flipped a switch. Somehow in his spirit and his soul, God just flipped a switch. And he woke up one morning and never, as far as I know, had ever given a word of knowledge in his life. And never seen a miracle that I can ever think of. And before he went to bed that night, he was moving in amazing, and it never stopped. Amazing words of knowledge and signs and wonders and miracles. I've watched people not just healed of cancer when he prayed for them. I've watched them vomit stomach cancers out of their mouth onto the floor. I've watched people with crooked backs, not pain doubling them over, spinal cords that were deformed. I watched him one time put his knee in the middle of a person's back and said, I command this back to get straight in Jesus' name. And we all heard the crack and the pop, and I thought, he's either killing this man or is it going, we're going to see a miracle. <laughs> the man started screaming at the top of his lungs. Scared him to death. I do not recommend that unless you know for a fact. You better know that you know God's told you to do it. But he was as shocked as anybody else in the room and stood upright and looked around and started screaming and then started running around the room, jumping up and down. I'm healed! I'm healed! I'm healed! I'm almost afraid to say some of the things that I saw because I don't want people to try to mimic them. Do something stupid, you know. But if you've never seen a six-year-old that's never walked except with crutches and braces take the brakes off and start running for the first time if you've never seen it you, you have no way to really you, you can't know what that's like unless you see it if you've never seen a blind eye that has never seen anything healed And a person received their sight for the first time. There's no way to describe it. And I tell you, I tell you, do not doubt this. I tell you, this is what we're moving into. This is what we're moving into. <laughs> 